the unenviable task of visiting the gruesome crash scene. Chabane's wife, Mavis, supported and accompanied by family members, friends and government colleagues. Chabane and his bodyguards, Surgeon Lesiba Sekele and Surgeon Lawrence Litswane, were killed instantly when a truck made a U-turn in front of their car in the early hours of Sunday morning. The truck driver was not injured. He was arrested and faces a string of charges. Drunken, reckless and negligent driving, culpable homicide, driving an unroadworthy vehicle and not having a driver's license. The police here report that uh, this man was not sober because we have said it many times. The, the number of lives we are losing because of problems of alcohol on the road. It it's actually strengthens our resolve that we have got to take action ag against this issue of, of drunken driving because the country is losing a lot. We can no longer afford to do this. The time has arrived that we take very harsh measures. President Jacob Zuma too expressed shock and conveyed the country's condolences. Chabane assumed a ministerial position under Zuma's administration. President Zuma says this is a tremendous loss uh, of an outstanding cadre in the liberation struggle, as well as a competent, accomplished, and dependable member of President Zuma's cabinet. A heartfelt loss for his colleagues. Minister Chabane was a humble, disciplined, passionate, and dedicated member of the executive. We were walking out of the of the airport and he had forgotten that he, has left, he had left his, his luggage behind. Collins is not like that. But you, you see life is very interesting. Collins is a quiet person. We were chatting and chatting and chatting, walking away. And then suddenly he saw my own VIP protector. He said, by the way, I've got my luggage back and he had to turn back. And that was the last time I saw him. Dates for the three funerals are yet to be announced. The truck driver is scheduled to appear in the Polokwane Magistrates Court on Tuesday. A previous drunken driving case in Gauteng is yet to be finalized. Mzondelimbeche, SAPC News.